All right, Barbara, thank you so much. And of course, on the right-hand side of your screen, you're seeing the arrival of the Pope there at the UN being escorted by the Secretary General. Uh, the Pope will be uh, speaking to the entire General Assembly uh, within perhaps an hour or so uh, from now. And you see a fairly sizable contingent there yes, yes. of folks who've come out to uh, greet and take pictures with the Pope. Uh, as we heard from Richard Roth earlier, there has been a lot of jockeying among the more than 190 countries, or those representing the 190 countries there at the UN, jockeying to try and get some one-on-one -on -one time with the Absolutely. Pope. Um, and so now we're seeing the jockeying of trying to get at least a photo op with the Pope during his historic visit to the U.S. Three days he'll be in New York, and he's got a very full plate in addition to the U.N. He'll, of course, be leading Mass at Yankee Stadium, and, of course, will be visiting with victims of 9-11 at Ground Zero as well. All of that taking place over the next three days. Meantime, the Pope's visit has really meant... Uh, a lot, not just to Catholics, but people in general here in the U.S., as you see right there. While in Washington, D.C., he was at the cultural, the Pope John Paul II Cultural Center last night. And while there, the Pope had a chance to uh, hear some beautiful music as well from a group with a very funny name. It's called the Suspicious Cheese Lords, <laughs> uh, which is a... Um, a very literal translation from a Latin name that you don't want to hear me attempt. But this male a cappella group had a chance to perform for him. For him. And here, here now, a little taste of the music that the Pope got a chance to hear. Beautiful music there from this a cappella group. If only we could see them, you can hear them, but we do have the pleasure of getting a chance to see one of the vocalists, Clifton Skip West. He's a member of the male a cappella group. And I'm going to call you Skip because you and I have known each other for years, Skip. Too many years. And, uh, too many years. <laughs> and I know that, you know, you have forever had a great commitment to the church, and this had to be a dream come true to be able to bring your music right to the Pope, in his company, all of this taking place last night. What was it like? Uh, it was both uh, very humbling and uh, very exhilarating at the same time. Uh, uh, this, uh, this Pope is, uh, quite frankly, uh, one of the best uh, patrons of uh, music that we've had since uh, Pius X and uh, his uh, directives on uh, church music and that it should be uh, 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 more of a uh, uh, classically, uh, seriously oriented type of liturgical music, uh, you know, with the uh, Catholic tradition of Gregorian chant and sacred polyphony, uh, that uh, this should be promulgated. And that was sort of the spirit we, we tried to bring to this. And uh, again, it was, uh, it was just amazing. I, I, words really cannot describe uh, uh, the feelings of, of singing uh, at such a great gathering at the Pope John Paul II Cultural Center, to be a part uh, musically of the, of the Pope's mission, of the, the John Paul II's uh, uh, Cultural Center's mission, uh, to bring people of different uh, cultures, different faiths together. Yeah. And you all, I mean, you founded this music group, this a cappella group. You yes, all I did. perform throughout Washington, whether it be the Kennedy Center, so many different venues. But this had to be different, Skip. I mean, you had to have butterflies, did you not? Uh, we, more than butterflies, it was more <laughs> like uh, uh, armies uh, jumping through my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sort of the whole world watching you. Uh, and especially the uh, the composer of that piece is also a, a cheese lord, uh, George Cervantes. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, he was just uh, basically uh, in the same caliber as yeah. uh, Palestrina or any of the other uh, papal composers that have, that have come through. I mean, you're, you're writing for the Pope. Yeah. What else can you do? I, you and, but, you know, so extraordinary, too, as you mentioned. I mean, we know that this Pope has a real affinity for music. I mean, he's a pianist himself, quite accomplished. Quite accomplished. And he has heard some of America's best operatic music over his uh, past three, I guess now day four, um, you know, day in, in the U.S. And to now for you and your group to be uh, in the same category as your Kathleen Battle, or Placido Domingo, Denise Graves, all of whom have performed for him while in the United States, that has to be a tremendous honor. 
It was a tremendous honor, uh, especially uh, at the end. Uh, he sort of paused and as if to, to absorb, you know, the, the last chord, to savor the last chord, and then looked up and then started to apl applaud. And I mean, it was a genuine smile on his face. Uh, I talked to a number of bishops and cardinals who you know uh, the, the Holy Father very well. Yeah. And they said, oh, he was, he, he, was, he was elated. He was so pleased and pleasantly surprised wow. to hear at this uh, interfaith meeting uh, the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi set Fantastic. to such beautiful music by George Cervantes. Wow. Skip West, the suspicious cheese lords. <laughs> I'll forever, you know, uh, forever know you as Skip. So good it's to true. see you. Oh, and there's the CD there. There's the new CD, Vivat Rex, <laughs> on our website, uh, cheeselords.org. We're also on MySpace, YouTube, and iTunes. Okay, what a <laughs> plug. Nice. Skip, smart. Well, thanks so much, and thanks for sharing your story and your experience, and it's so great to see you after so many years. Even Likewise. It's other, funny. I probably never thought all my that, life. <laughs> never thought that uh, beginning a music group around my dinner table would, uh, would, would come to this, and, and especially to meeting happened. you again. Awesome. Fantastic. Skip, great to see you and hear your beautiful <laughs> group, the music, thanks. as well. Thanks so much. Thank you, Frederica. We'll connect again. develops is only CNN can bring it to you. See for yourself in the CNN newsroom. How cool is that? Armies Fantastic. marching around. Yeah, I love Nerves, that. are you kidding me? Butterflies, armies in my and belly. You really described that so succinctly, Ooh, so that's well. Terrific. That's terrific. Fantastic. Right. Well, you are in the CNN newsroom. I'm Frederica Whitfield. And I'm Tony Harris. What do you say we check uh, the big board? New York Stock.